hello friends today i will tell you about the taper roller bearings as you all know that in machines or somewhere else we are using different type of bearing so out of that one most important bearing is taper roller bearing now understand why it is taper roller bearing so here you can see the rollers inside the bearing is taper one side the diameter is more and one side is less that's why it is called a taper roller bearing and this is the outer race uh, and uh, the inside race is called the inner race so two races is there and there is a cage which is responsible for maintaining the equidistance between the taper rollers so when we combine all these parts then it is become a taper roller bearing so now we will understand how to identify it one is the taper roller which we can visually see and another is a number which is marked on the bearing the number is uh, uh, sometime mark on the ids of the bearing and some of the bearing it is marked on the od so the number is here this 30211 uh, this number is uh, basically start uh, with 3 and having a series of 30000 so it means uh, if the number is starting with the 3 and having a 30 uh, series that means it is a taper roller bearing so now we will understand how to identify the face and back of the bearing so this is a face which is wider uh, you can see uh, the wider face is a face of the bearing and the other side opposite side is a back of the bearing now we will understand like uh, what is the bearing arrangement so basically there are back to back and face to face arrangement in the bearing um, either in taper roller bearing or angular contact bearing so first we will understand here the taper roller bearing back to back arrangement so like uh, when the back of one bearing is meeting with the another bearing back that is called the back to back bearing so um, here you can see the back uh, uh, the both the bearing uh, back are matching with each other uh, that's why it is called a back to back bearing and in between uh, because the cage is touching to each other so in between we are using spacers so that we can maintain some gap and cage will not damage so now we will understand how uh, why we are referring this back to back arrangement like this when we load the taper roller bearing then the force line will generate perpendicular to the taper roller and uh, uh, here in the left side diagram you can see when uh, we draw the uh, like perpendicular line of both the uh, all the roller axis then it is it is become like a back to back arrangement and here one notch to another notch there is a length uh, the length in this length the bearing will uh, provide a rigidity to either a ball screw or bearing as per its use so that uh, the, uh, with the rigidity the axis is having a greater accuracy and a higher uh, load carrying capacity so if we uh, see the face to face arrangement it is just opposite to the back to back arrangement here uh, when we draw a force line when we preload it it is uh, uh, just like perpendicular to the taper rollers and the lines is uh, the notch of the bearings is very near to each other and the length compared to the back to back arrangement is very less in the face to face arrangement so due to that the rigidity in face to face arrangement is less and it is used generally used for floating arrangement so here uh, you can see i have i am showing you a face to face arrangement so whenever there is a uh, like uh, you are controlling the vibration you are uh, you are having a, a high temperature issue in the bearings uh, by the vibration or the more length of the ball screw so uh, this uh, face to face arrangement provide a floating uh, floating end so that the vibration will absorb and there is no uh, extra heating in the bearing if you summarize then back to back is a more rigid arrangement and provide a higher accuracy while uh, the face to face arrangement is provide a floating and is is um, very good for um, absorbing vibration and extra heating in the supporting end so uh, now we will see where to use this bearing so normally a taper roller bearing is uh, made for taking higher axial load compared to the radial load 
फ्रेंड्स रेडियल लोड इज जनरली डेवलप विद द आरपीएम ऑफ द स्पिंडल लाइक इफ देयर इज अ हाई आरपीएम इन द बॉल स्क्रू और द स्पिंडल देन देयर इज अ हाई रेडियल लोड बिकॉज इट इज जस्ट परपेंडिकुलर टू द एक्सिस एंड एक्सियल लोड इज डेवलप्ड ड्यू टू द कटिंग फोर्सेस सो वेयर द कटिंग फोर्सेस इज हाई वी आर हैविंग अ हाई कट इन द कटेड बाय द स्पिंडल और हैविंग अ हाई एक्सियल लोड इन द बॉल स्क्रू देयर द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ दिस बेयरिंग इज परफेक्ट and uh, we we have already seen that uh, where the heavy spindles we, um, uh, we are using for milling operation or uh, heavy ball screw where the cutting load is very high then we are generally using taper roller bearings so now we will understand how to preload the bearing as we all know that preloading we are uh, doing uh, with the help of outer uh, outer uh, cap or uh, with the help of uh, the lock nut so um, the inner face and outer face both are loaded based on the bearing arrangement like in back to back arrangement basically we are giving preloading with the help of uh, lock nut while in face to face we are loaded with the help of the outer cap which is touching outer part of the bearing so now understand that uh, why preloaded is necessary like um, there is a deflection uh, while the cutting load is there so if we will do the preloading of the bearing then it will uh, force back or give reaction force uh, to the cutting force so that there is no deflections and uh, we can maintain the accuracy of the spindle or the ball screw now uh, we will understand uh, how much preload we should give uh, and what is the advantage or disadvantage um, of it so like if we were using a higher preloading then it will generate heat in the bearing because if we generate higher preload then the, the roller will uh, give higher force to the outer rays and uh, it will restrict the motion the uh, whatever rpms we are giving it will restrict it and it will generate heat between the rollers and the outer rays and um, due to that uh, friction there is a heat generation and the grease will melt inside the bearing and uh, in a short period of time the bearing will fail either the uh, lower preloading will cause a uh, play in the uh, assembly due to that play will unable to meet the required uh, accuracy level so hope uh, this video will be helpful and uh, able to understand that uh, what is taper roller bearing how we will identify it where we use it and how and how much need to preload